my name is Ofiemo Jane Uche. I've come here to return all the glory to God. The lady beside me is my elder sister. Her name is Antonia. We are from Delta State here. Orerope to be precise. I want to appreciate God. Over five years plus now, I have been sick. But if you see me, you wouldn't know. Except I tell you. But within me, I know I was dying gradually, gradually, gradually. The enemy afflicted me and I was dying inside me gradually. I was dying inside me gradually. But people see me that I'm healthy. To the extent that when people see me in this uh, hard economy, they will be saying, Madam, you're growing far too. I will tell them all glory be to God. But they don't know that it's not really a good one. It all started as an infection. I just discovered that my private part started scratching me seriously. As in, when the private part starts scratching me, to look as if I want to run mad. Even when I'm walking on the street, I will be scratching. I will scratch to a point that the hair on itself in my private part will be like a needle. It will be shooking me at the same time. It will look as if I want to run mad. I will be telling my husband, this thing is really embarrassing me. I don't understand. I went to the chemist. I started with the chemist. They treated. It didn't go. I went to the hospital. The midwifery gave me about strong 20 antibiotic injections with strong, strong drugs. On the 15th day of dying, the injection, I collapsed because it was so strong. And after about a week, she told me that that is the end of the infection, infection that it is called candidiasis. When I went to run test, she told me that it used to be very stubborn. I should not worry that after the treatment, it will go. But lo and behold, after the treatment, the thing relieved me like about a week and it came back again. I went to her, I told her, Mama, you said this is the, what you use in treating others. Why is it that my own did not go? She said that this thing that is baffling her, that she has never seen this kind of thing before. That anybody she uses this thing to treat, that ends it. Why is it that this one still come back? As I, I was not asking her, the thing was still fresh there. I asked her, could it be spiritual? She now said it may be. I switched over to a pro dot. I bought a lot of expensive products. It did not carry it. It will look as if the thing has relieved me for maybe a week plus. It will come back again. They introduced me to a native doctor who treats people with different herbs. And uh, 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 just like that, I went to him. Then, though I have not joined temple, then he told me, he consulted and told me that the hand of a witch is in my body. They have to sacrifice to them. They say I should sacrifice to them to, to free me. He did everything and prepared medicine for me and told me that they have they told him that anything I take now, even if it is paracetamol, that I'll be really I'll feel better. At the end of the day, nothing happened. Before I went to the native doctor, I went to a pastor that you we used to be very close. He now prayed and told me that God opened his eyes and saw that they poisoned me spiritually. I, I, I ate uh, a food in the dream. That that's the cause of this problem. He told me, if I can drop a seed of 5,000, then, then, if I can drop a seed of 5,000, that he will pray for me and carry that problem out of my body, that that will mark the end. I went home, I told my husband. He said, if 5,000 naira will be the case, that the following day he's going to give me the money to go and give to him i gave him the five thousand i dropped it before we started the prayer i know he will hear me someday he'll come across this testimony i just want to let them know that what they are doing is wrong so i dropped the money when he saw the money he was ginger he moved in his spirit and started kabashing different friend prayers he said he has carried it from my womb he threw it through the window and told me that when he's praying that's after the prayers he told me when he was praying that he seen big, big flies escorting those things that he's throwing away. That that's the end of it. He now gave me uh, ever water, the biggest one. The water was almost to the bottom of the can. He said I should be sipping it as you drink and use to wash my private parts. I should be using it little by little. I did it. I, was, I used it. The water got finished. The problem increased. I went to him and I said, 
you have prayed. Why is this thing still here? He said, are you not taking your medication anymore? I said, I'm not taking it now. If you pray and your prayer work, am I supposed to be taking medication? He said, no, you got it wrong. You're supposed to still be uh, adding your medication. He said, he has talked to one of his doctors. This and I told him not to bother again. He said, anyway, that he's going to give me anointing oil. That, that anointing, anointing oil is going to cost me because it's from higher authority. I said, I but I've, I've so seed now. He said, he's not the one that produced it. That is from higher authority. So oh, I'm going to pay. So I now withdrew from him. It was after him that I now went to the native doctor. All to no avail. Anywhere they tell me, plus and minus, I spent close to 1.5 million only on my body. Because anywhere they tell me there is solution. Some will charge me 70. Some I will spend 150. Some 200,000. Including products, hospital, chemists, just like that. That was how I was wasting money. But before the thing got to like that, when the thing started, I would scratch and scratch. Blood would be coming out of my private part. And at the same time, it's still scratching me. My children will give me farm. I will lie down, open my two legs. I will be using the farm to cool it. The smell that is coming out of my private part, <laughs> even me that is coming from my body, is as if I am dead. I am alive, but I stink so much. I pad, if I mesurate, the mesuration stinks a lot. And as soon as the mesuration ends, I will still continue padding the, the next month mesuration. Because as soon as the blood stops, the fluid that looks like water will still be coming out. And it smells a lot. Even the smell passes through my mouth. And as soon as I'm talking, I'll be covering my mouth in the midst of people. If I'm mesurating and people are sitting somewhere, I will not pass close to them. I will not walk through close to them because you will perceive the smell from my body. I am really alive, but then I was smelling. So, but in the midst of this, my husband, before we got this child, when this problem has been on ground, so he was using a condom to sleep with me because of the smell and so that it will not affect him. But according to him, he said, one might just tell him one day, these are my girls. One that one might told him one day that he should use his ordinary body. So he now used his ordinary body. I got pregnant and gave birth to this boy. And he's our only son. So ever praise the Lord. But since then, when I was pregnant of this boy, the, the, I wanted, they wanted to, to quench me. I wanted to die. Prophecy were coming here and there. Even my mother in law based in this worry, we stay in Orero. If she go to church, they will tell her, bring your daughter-in-law. We are seeing that she's pregnant. She never knew I was pregnant. That was her prayer, vision we are coming, that they wanted to kill me. Actually, they told me that the person in question, we are neutralizing every medication I was taking. I was just busy drinking chaff. The thing was not hitting where the problem is. Any medication, any product, whatever I want to take, is being spoiled by whoever that did the thing. So... Before I, I took in, I, my belly rise up that period. My belly became so big and my period ceased. I went after three months. I said, let me go and register. This one that I'm having infection, I don't want to waste time. Let me go for antenata. Reaching there, when it got to my tongue, they palpated me and told me there is nothing in my womb. I told him it can't be. I've not been seeing my menstruation for the past three months. They now say, okay, if I argue it, I should. They refer me to a doctor. Doctor told me to went, go to the lab. The lab, they took my blood. The thing also came out as uh, negative. I was now worried. I say, but after some time, menstruation now came out with smell, terrible smell. That was when I knew that something is wrong. But after giving birth, this problem continued. And once I stopped taking medication to look as if I want to die, this last one that happened now, I even went to a drug state. They charged me 200,000 there. This is my sister. Though she has been very sick on her own, she has so many health challenges. Uh, spiritual health and tormenting her, but she was, she was like a kind of, I don't care about my own anymore. I am after your own health. The little money she had, over 100,000, she transferred it. I use it to support me. I told her about sister, you are you also you are sick, you need help. He said I should not worry. She called me in the morning, afternoon, evening, even in the night 
to make sure that I am, she's hearing my voice. She's the only one that understands what I was going through. My children are little. They never knew what was happening. It was only my sister that understood what I was. Even my voice has changed. This last one that happened uh, before I got my healing. I just discovered that the tummy became so big again. Though the, this problem has been on ground, I'm still padding. Menstruation is not regular, just like that. My, my belly became so big last year. To the extent all my maternity gown that I have kept, I brought them out and started wearing them. Thinking that it's pregnancy. Praise the Lord. The belly became so big. When I took one of my child to, to the hospital in December, I met pregnant women there. They say you will not come and register. Old, old woman, you will not come and register. I was just laughing. I said, people should not worry. I will come. Because I don't want to rush so that I will not feel embarrassed. I don't want the previous thing that happened to happen to me again. That was, not, that was why I did not rush. But this January, the menstruation came out with smell again. Though it did not rush well. That was when I see, discovered that the balloon, the castle. Because I call it balloon because if I bend down, it will look as if the thing want to burst. I will be feeling it as if you are pressing a very big balloon and it's trying, it's pressing, but it will not burst. This thing get, was growing every day by day. Gradually, it was growing. The essence that I was feeling as if I swallowed something and the thing could not pass through my throat. I'll be telling my sister, I said, something want to lock my throat. Even my voice started changing. She will be crying. She will, be, she will say, you are my only sister. Why do you want to do me like this? Whatever it will take me to, to, for you to get to her, I will do it. After when we have tried all medication, the last one, I went to this period that we did crusade in Osubi. This uh, last month. That, okay, this last month. Tuesday of that week, when I discovered I have the balloon, I said, okay, let me go for scan. If the doctor will see the balloon, they, they carried out a series of tests and they directed me to where I will go and carry out the scan. I did the scan. They say they are seeing fibroid in my belly. I told them my baby is just three months, uh, three years plus. How can I have this big balloon that want to lock my throat? The boy that was doing the scan told me, Madam, I cannot write or say what I did not see. This is what I'm seeing. And I told him, you are correct. He now told me, try and see your pastor. And I told my sister, it's like God wants to call me home. I told her, it's as if God wants to use this medium to take my life. She told me, you are just in your 40s. Why would you say that? I said, because I've tried everything I could. He said, go and see your pastor. To me, I said that seeing daddy, I, I told seeing him. It's a very big thing. But when I went to that scan, within that period of the crusade, they directed me, after the scan, they said they are seeing fibroid. I have made up my mind because my sister transferred money for me to go for an operation, let them remove it. Even the fibroid, I made up my mind there. Yeah. I said, if it is a fibroid, I want to take my life. I will force this doctor today, whether he like it or not, he will have to operate it. But when I was there that morning, before they sent me to go and carry out the scan, I discovered that he operated somebody in the theater. And when he went back to the theater, it's like that person gave up. That was what my mind told me. Because he just came out and he was furious. He now asked everybody. That was, that was when, I, when I have come back with my scan result. So the doctor asked everybody to leave the hospital immediately. It's a private hospital. They shut the hospital and closed the door. I was like, I was actually, I planned to force him. Even when he said, I wanted to call one of my friends to come and sign for me. Let him just remove the fibroid. Let me see if I will be fine. But God did something because I, it, it, it later occurred to me, had it been the operated me that day, I would have died because it's a spiritual battle. So that Tuesday, they, they tried to rush me because I went to, I went to Sister Mandalina. I was already losing my strength. I was going. I was going. I told Sister Mandalina I said I'm getting weaker and weaker. My body is jerking. I said I'm dying. If you don't act today, I don't think I might see tomorrow. She now, she became afraid. She said let her go. Uh, let her make call so that they can carry me to come and see daddy. So, and I went to the crusade that day. I don't have card and 
I told myself, nobody is going to stop me. If they try to, I will cry out for help. Because the, issue, the woman of the issue of blood said, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. I told myself, if daddy can meet me today, I will not go back the same way I came. So I went to the canopy and joined those women. Anybody that go and call and return, I will be begging for card. Because I think without that card, they will not be able to see me. But they just, nobody asked anything about card. When it got to my turn, when it got to my turn, I have a lot of things to narrate to daddy that day. I only told me, daddy, my private part is getting rotten. That was the only thing I said. That did not provoke in the spirit. I don't know if they can play it for me. He prayed. Immediately he touched my forehead. I felt darkness, a very thick one. And I became so weak when he was praying for me. Daddy gave me an anointing oil. He gave me anointing oil. He gave me anointing oil and water and told me to drink the anointing oil. I remember I told him, Daddy, I will finish it once. He said, No, don't finish it once. And he told me, Go and anoint your private bath inside the restroom. When I got there, I anointed my, I drank the anointing oil almost to half. Then I went to the restroom. The, the smell that came out from my body that day was the last smell. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Get up and wave your hand to Jesus. You are not waving your hand. Thank you. Everybody with your own tongue. Mm. I been pray for people since so, since the church starts. I never hear this guy one. When he come to that place, tell me say a private party roti. He say if he peace, be big fly. If he talk. One kind of sickness. Fear grip me, you know. Just let me come and say, Private Adelo, that is Jesus, God forbid. I feel like the woman don't even die, you know. Uh, now nah, you pray. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I just pray. Lay her, touch the belly two times. Me myself, when I touch the blessed pillars, I go wash my hand. May Satan not near your gate. This is when the apostle will not be a shower matter in Mario. You see, in the case, this is where husbands make it back. When it comes self, uh, now if the woman leave that place or die, if you not survive it, because you see the daughter. I can't say make it go to bedroom. Make it use the oil, drink and drink and anoint that place. The private when they rot When they come off, it's just now nah, shock. I call the call people when they did it when they pray for yes, sir. I shock now. Yes, I don't even know I'm again. The shine, I say show. What you have to say now, me, my private by the roti, I don't hear. Ah. Nothing fearful more than that kind of thing. I congratulate your husband. You are sharing tears of joy now. You see? Now, nah, everything for your stomach don't let disappear. Moon, I clap for Jesus now. Nah. <laughs> Which advice? Why you want to the whole world? Let me shut it this memorandum. My papa, I want to appreciate you. You are an angel. No, no, hey, 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 I'm not grey, oh, I'm not grey, oh, I'm not grey, oh, now appreciate me, oh. You want God to confess, or you may not do me that quick, eh? We want to appreciate. Oh. Huh. Now let Jesus come, because look your body, look your belly, come operate you spiritually, come commodity, you get out. 
Now let Jesus see you. When people they see me for their house, Pastor, I see you. You they pour here for my hand, my head physical. One for her, which she said, one woman said they see me physical for your house every day. I say me physical for your house. You they, are you calling me another thing? Now Jesus, you they see. Not be me. Say I want to appreciate our Maker. Say so. I want to appreciate our Maker. We are gonna clap. Amen. 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 Are you happy? Yes, sir. Will you give our advice? I want to appreciate our Maker for make, giving me reason to live again and for making my children not to be motherless. And I also want to advise the whole world, viewers all over the world, members of Jesus Christ Temple Ministry. If you have problem and you have tried your best, don't conclude just the way I concluded that everything is over. If you have tried all you could and it didn't work out, don't conclude. Try and see our pastor. The God that used him to deliver me will also use him to deliver you. Clap again to the glory of God.